Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ETS 12 Season 36 Map Cup. My name is Wandom, joined today by Archrhythm on production. Dumb TM is back casting with me. We're going into a semi-final here between Funge Esports and a really long French name, but it's the Frenchies. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we're watching some maps, currently arguing in the server about what team plays what, but you know, we're going to be seeing some new maps. Yeah, going to be interesting. Um, this is the only two teams left we have not covered that are left in semifinals here, so it's probably the best opportunity to see any one of them. Obviously, one of them will make finals against the other side of the bracket, which is Badlands Chucks against the Wolf Pack in the, uh, the other side of the bracket. So that will be interesting as well to see who will make finals out of that. But first of all, I might as well want to see who makes it of the teams we have not seen it all yet. And yeah, like you said, the French team name might be unpronounced, but it's a lot of familiar faces uh, currently on the server because they have like a million Frenchies rostered. We see Delhi, Glastry, Olga, Alien Smiley, Raf, and Neville, which is somewhat close to uh, the premise that we have for obvious changes here, like Neville. Yeah, I mean, it's six Frenchies versus uh, another circle jerk in Funge Esports, which is. If you're familiar with the name Crunch Esports, it's just like a bunch of uh, Crunch players. We've got Mathis, Charlie, Capocar, Blue, um, other people as well. They aren't actually on the server, but I'm assuming it's like it's Nakari and another guy. Maybe it's yeah, Nakari. Yeah, Nakari's here. Currently on Pyro, but <laughs> we'll see how much of that will last before he switches to Demo Man. So, yeah, like a final player, though. It, it should be Bobby, I think. Uh, but... That's listed as the final player. We'll see. Maybe they needed a mark or something. There, there was discussion about them not maybe being able to make it, but I mean, they're clearly here. So either they're hoping he comes back or they're just getting a mark. Uh, one way or another, they're here to play. So let's hope this works out. Both of these teams completely undefeated so far, both from groups into obviously the playoffs. It was single Alum have to be undefeated. Uh, yeah, the French is obviously taking, for example, the win over the Germans, who looked really good, decent which we've seen before, and uh, Funch went and... Oh, no, actually, no, they did lose. They were in a group of Badlands trucks, so they lost that one on... Must have been Clearcut, yeah, Clearcut was round one, so not quite undefeated, never mind. Uh, either way, it was made it all the way here, and if you just look at this, these lineups, it's like a, the puck from hell, really. So <laughs> yeah. we know these people can play the game. question is if they can play these maps, which is a whole different story. I mean, there's there's a coveted sort of combination on uh, on on the on the the red side that I assume is coming up, where uh, the moment you've got Charlie, Mathis, and Capocar in a single game, Bobby as well, it suddenly becomes really fun um, to play. Not it, the quality of the game doesn't necessarily become the best, but I mean, like <laughs> we can either get them tryharding, but I think honestly, the more likely possibility is we're just gonna have uh, it's gonna have a little bit of fun, you know. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how much they force the franchise to try the hardest as well, because uh, traditionally these franchises like the off for map cups and just take it like a, a series as the situation requires it to be, but they're clearly rolling up with full power lineups here right now, I can I think. Uh, saying that, uh, there's still two demo men for the French people on the server, so that might change or not, who knows, uh, for the moment. Uh, the map order is clear cut bagel and then villa so double cough guaranteed match three if it comes down to it will be on the five cp map we have here tonight and we'll see how that goes um not completely unsurprising it's like you know if cough maps go quicker by so even if you don't have the maps less you'll probably just like get by faster as well yeah i mean fun is kind of like you know in school when you got put in like a group with all of your friends so you just like kind of didn't do what you're supposed to, but it was really fun because <laughs> you're just like with your friends. That kind of that's kind of what this feels like. I mean, we're watching cough maps, right? So a lot of it's probably going to come down to a bit of DM uh, with uh, with the cough maps being the way they are and kind of not being as structured as other maps, um, just by the virtue of people not having played them as much. I think the possibility of this becoming a DM fest is like ninety nine to a hundred percent. Uh, and I think, honestly, looking at the Frenchies, you know, they've just got the the bigger player power. Potentially, yeah. Obviously, like, uh, most of them besides Neville and Glass, who played forever with each other, really. And that that might matter enough to make a huge difference, even on the heavy maps, just because you take the fights better with everyone involved and the, the way you want to. It might work out better for you. But in the end, a lot of map knowledge might matter as well. 
And these cove maps are fairly different. Bagel is a lot smaller than this map is. So maybe we'll see how that turns out to affect these games. Obviously, we have uh, these stack roofs as high ground for scouts to just be set upon. You have to cover a lot more distance, even though it is like fairly jumpable all around here on the map. Just having to cover more distance will be interesting to see with these scout tours we have here. We'll see how that goes as the match will go live now. Yeah, we are live. This is the ETS 12 Season 36 Map Cup between Bunge Esports and a very long French name once again. We are live going into this first fight, mid-fight, I guess you could call it, Soldier on the red side. That's Bobby Basketball 1999. Sitting on high ground, kind of no team really going that aggressive so far, but Capital Car... He's super far forward to the point, and that's a single soldier going in, but Bobby's just shut down right now. This is a soldier behind Flastery does a lot of work there, and I don't really think red team's quite looking to go forward. It's actually still in. Charlie he's jumping forward. He's in onto Olga. Gets some really nice rockets there. Then Akari Railgun is out, and it finds the kill onto Olga there. That is a really, really good kill to have as well. Everyone's backing off in time. So maybe not quite. Bruce was in when no one actually was in with him at all. And that just the medic down on both sides suddenly after a really nice jump to get the medic on the other side. Really, really unfortunate level for them. And makes the heal situation just about even due to dying late here for Blues. So it's a bit unfortunate. We'll see if they can recover. It's not like there's any Ubers up right now. So if they have a good like, non uber fight, this could still work out. And they're already trying to approach with a lot of cap and a lot of damage by Dakari on the roof. Yeah, Nakari is just, uh, he, he's known for, for the lock and load. He's like the one guy who uses him, and he's absolutely crazy. But this fight right now, there's so many people just kind of dying everywhere. DM fights are happening. Looks like it's working out in the Frenchie's favor. A lot of damage was done to the Frenchies, but it was just kind of spread out enough on the different players. Made it so that Fung's not quite able to find any real frags. Only finding two while they died three themselves. Yeah, the soldiers went way too up deep up for Funch here, so that was really, really strange to see, because the whole combo with the scouts, demo man, medic, was just all sitting on point, not really going anywhere. Will immediately lose the point for these tracks, they lost here as well, and here comes a little bit of a fight again, both teams almost having, in this case, the Funch side not quite, still committing people in, Akari Mephis go down early, Bobby tries to go deep as well, but can't get much out of the scout from him, Neville cleans it up before the medic is in danger, sack with if you want to call it, not successful, blues. <laughs> With the Uber in hand and only 99% does get out alive at least. Uh, we'll see how they can do this now with Ad. However, they got some picks on, on the point. It's always bad for the blue team here because you have to war spawn. So they're actually beating at the very least Raft to the punch here. Yeah, but look at Nevo right now and look at Alien. They're both just on this high ground. Bobby, he just has to jump straight into Nevo. And it feels so bad. He does get really nice damage onto him, actually. Forces him off. But that's Deli with a nice little pipe onto Capital Car. Gets Charlie as well. The Uber comes out of both teams right now. It's being traded across, but Mathis not really able to find anything as of yet. Everyone in the French is just in right now onto Funge. There's Mathis and Bobby going down both. Blue is actually picked up by Wrath here, and now suddenly the cleanup comes through. Akari goes down. It's just Capital Car in the fight. He's dead as well. Charlie, 5 HP gets taken down with a pistol out of Nevo there. Yeah, one thing is for sure. The, these franchises <laughs> do want to win. I mean, they're rolling up on main classes. You wouldn't be surprised, but they're definitely in the all. They're taking these fights really smart and really well so far. Not letting anyone escape here gives them a big advantage. This has to be some sort of non-uber position to fight from at this point. They don't really have time to wait for their own uber anymore. They need to do this quick, and Charlie tries to lead this in for the rest of the team into the back lines. Olga, Olga with a lot of damage, but not quickly enough. Poppy actually manages to jump into a scout blindly walks into him, just completely shuts down his jump, and suddenly now that's Glaster coming in with a nice little cleanup there. <laughs> Wrath comes in as well. Everyone's just kind of dead. Charlie's the only one up. 12 seconds left. I think Charlie probably just has to go. He waits for blue, but he has to jump in here already. Bobby's ready as well. They're gonna have to bomb in immediately. Get onto this point. It's actually half camp. They have a little bit of time, but Telly shuts down Charlie with nobody really going down except for Delhi. Uber coming out of Olga, I think this should be it. There's no cap time left on the point. Capricar's rushing in towards it to try and save his team, but there's no follow-up. There we go, Frenchies take round one in a pretty dominant fashion. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we have like any bad players on our team, so you you would assume they're able to put up a good fight here, but these Frenchies are as, as strong as you would imagine they are. And certainly not that can any of these opportunities go to waste just now. So strong round for them to start the map off with, to start the match off with as well. Making a good first statement here. Let's see if they can carry this forward into the rest of the match. Yeah, it seems like Bobby and Charlie both really want to go aggressive. Do these crazy skip jumps that we have been seeing. 
But it looks like the scout's Nevo is just doing such a good job of shutting down the jumps. I say that, but Charlie's actually into Olga. Olga's pretty, pretty low, but he's the only one. Capital Power actually taken him down as well. Now the Frenchie's going to come back in. This delayed aggression finds Bobby, finds Blue actually out of Glass Street. Wrath is taken down by Mathis, but I think that's about it. Nakari managed to find a kill as well, but he goes down for it. Frenchies, they sack both their soldiers, get the point, and the enemy med are looking pretty good to just set up on mid once again. Yeah, Funch is struggling to actually work off these bombs. Not that all the bombs are necessarily the best ones, but that, was, that, that one just now, where Charlie was clear, also probably one of the soldiers for Funch anyway, got all the way to the medic, and everyone was just so hesitant to push off a point at all, so nothing really got done with this. They had to throw a second soldier in, and at that point, they're just two down. Well, the French soldiers are doing so much more work. He comes again, Charlie over point. This time has people with him now. Mathis in as well. They get some more space this time, and a lot more damage on them as well. <laughs> with Daniel and Raph just falling onto the point there and completely destroying them while everyone else is just into the backline safely. Two people just stop this push entirely. Yeah, they're walking across a point there, and then Delhi and Raph just have an absolute field day. Well, they're actually, it's, it, it looks like a pretty decent choke point there, actually, because of those two pillars. If you're trying to walk across the point, you're really sandwiched between this crate on either side. It looks like Demo is just able to do so much work. That damage comes through. He'll be really able to follow, and that is absolutely disastrous for Funge right now. Charlie's jumping all the way behind right now. He's going to be looking for a play coming up later on. But with the Uber coming out here, it's actually still not popped. Once again, they're just wiping the whole team. Finally pops the Uber, but they've managed to get two team wipes out of one Uber. Yeah, just a smart fight to take you for the Frenchies. They saw the soldier disappear behind and just figured, you're not going to fight until the guy's back. So they just push into them instead. Uh, catch up the scout first of all, completely out of position, and everyone else with it. And Math is just way too late to the fight at that point. Couldn't really contribute anymore. And Diva was there as well to just make sure no one even dies in the first place. Will me and Diva situation is close to even, but at this point, half the time already gone. They need to still do this on so little time now. Charlie's been going for the same jump every single time. Actually manages to get caught onto Olga. Sorry, Nevo actually goes down. There's Bobby in, but Olga just jukes him around. Doesn't go down, gets the health pack as well. So now he's back to full HP. Glashy comes in and clean up, gets two clean kills on to Capo Car and <laughs> Charlie. Mathis has gone down as well. Now suddenly, looks like even though Delhi has gone down, it's just so much damage for the Frenchies. They're really just taking this game by storm so far. Yeah, for sure. Just, I mean, we talked about this being a DM map, of course, it's King of the Hill, it tends to be the case, but no, coordination does in fact still matter. Uh, you can't just out-DM people for three minutes straight and win a cough map just like that. It needs to be more like that, uh, more to it like that, and for now, it's really the Frenchies have to build again a ton of damage close point. Also, decent damage by Frunch, though, but the Eber will have to come out of them first. Nakari just uses the railgun that to completely snipe out Alien Smiley. It feels so bad. It does so much damage. Nakari's the only one who uses that gun, and he just destroys Glassy River as well. His medic does go down in blue, but look at the damage. The health is so bad for the Frenchies right now. But they have just managed to walk back out. Nevo is actually really scary. The soldiers can't really get in on him properly. You can just shoot them out of the sky. Nakari is so, so, so weak, actually. Standing in this ditch, he's just in the face of the enemy demo. Delhi's not hitting him. Gets help out. Nevo gets him taken down. Now suddenly there's so much damage just lacking for Funge. That's still kind of in. The Frenchies are all bunched up. There we go. The bomb comes through. Delhi, Alien, and Wrath are all dead. It's just Glastry on the point. They do get Charlie, but it looks like even though they managed to kill everyone, Olga has gotten out. He's going to have an Uber sooner rather than later. Yeah, it was a long convoluted fight, but keeping Meta Light alive in all of this and with the early demo pick as well makes this all the more worth it now. Have still Charlie down to work with Swallow on the French side as well as this Uber taking it from the far right side here and try to just push in immediately. I see a Putus, but maybe it doesn't matter because Delhi already dies. He dies blue as well, I to say. He kills blue, gets in with that trap, and now Mathis was on that heavy. Would have been really good, but he just wasn't quite there in time. Luckily for them, Charlie has found a kill onto Olga, and delhi has gone down as well to Capricar. Looks like the cleanup's coming out. That's a full wipe for the Frenchies again. It's three seconds left, and that is another round for the Frenchies. Two up so far. Yeah, they just show like another minor quirk of the map, where you have to have ice forward to see them coming from the, the shack. Otherwise, you don't have ice uh, on them rotating into the building. Uh, something the Frenchies nicely abused that she just like use in as late as possible basically once they touch the point really which just shouldn't really be the case too much at least not being uncontested completely but yeah they just got away with it 
completely for free, you super late. Yeah. Catboka dies in spawn, <laughs> and I think they are Wait. defeated. What? There's a sword spawn, I mean, you can't do that. <laughs> What's happening? I mean, I guess Bobby's killed Dungeon Deli, but I'm just so confused. I didn't see that, I was watching the Frenchies roll out, and all of a sudden, Catboka and Mathis just decide they don't want to play the game anymore. Glacier's actually gone down. The Frenchies are three dead. Somehow actually work. They're on the point now. Charlie comes in from a bomb, but he's so far ahead. The rest of his team, he's a really nice direct onto Nevo, but he's going to have to hit way more in order to deal with that pocket scout. Alien Smiley is dead. But look at that. Delhi's back up, and now he's staring down the barrel with like nine players on Bunge. Doesn't get any kills, but look at the health. It's so bad. Raph gets Mathis. Looks like they're actually trying to re-aggress this Nevo, just biding his time. The Uber does come out, but Blue doesn't quite have it yet. He's so low, finally gets that Uber popped out from him. And now, Nevo's going to go down, probably, please. Uh, not really quite yet. Surprisingly, dying and spawn actually worked out for them. It must have confused the Frenchies, because they didn't cap point. They didn't get anything done either. And now just to fight for the money here on the point and they're finally getting over point again one last attempt by charlie because everyone else is too weak or too far back the scouts now trying to come in but bobby's done already charlie gets healed up but is that enough i don't know it's so hard right now they found two kills but class three gets a nice little market gardener there on to mathis capital car gets piped down as well look at it looks like they're trying to spawn camp they're actually getting a little bit aggressive here on the french side but they're backing up now on the point Realizing that that is sort of their safe zone, but look at Delhi. Headshot by one rock. He gets arrowed actually by Olga. Charlie just gets video game as Nakari's actually found the kill. Charlie's doing his best to air shot the enemy, but neither of his air shots so far have really worked. But maybe it doesn't matter if he just kills Olga. Olga goes down to a nice up bomb from Charlie. Delhi's dead as well. And Funge take control of the point again. Finally in the lead, it seems like. Maybe. Suicide was the answer here, and suddenly they just figured out how to do the focus for all the better now. And <laughs> this looked really, really good all of a sudden. They just like, focused everyone on really nicely, and nothing li lived that mattered. At the very least, the medic. Here comes the French sack wave, though. We'll see how they do this one with the demo already way deep and rough. Straight in front of the medic, who has to use here, and with a little bit more to clean up here, this should still be fine for the Frenchies, even if they will die in the end. Yeah, Nevo actually so far forwards that tries to get killed onto Charlie, but luckily, unluckily for him. Just finds a demo man as well. Can't juke two projectiles at the same time. Delhi went behind and did go down. Bobby now, he's found Raph. I don't, he does get the kill, but that's the rest of the Frenchies. Not able to find anything more. He would have preferred to get kill onto Olga, who is at a 50% advantage right oh now. God, he's so waiting does... for them. Oh, oh no, he's not impatient enough, but it doesn't matter. He still hits the rockets. That was almost really, really sketchy for them because he put the trigger on the scout with the medic right behind it. Olga still catches the damage. Will have to use. A lucky caller for the soldiers there, that's still the box. Luckily for them, they do get the force. Now Blue is at 90%. They're going to be looking to come back in for themselves. But look at Krasny. He's just trying to go for that market garden. But the bombs actually comes in, followed up by Raph. And they do manage to get the force out of Blue. And Poppy's actually gone down as well. That's three dead. Oh, this is uh, this is looking weird. Charlie's gone down to Delhi as well. Nevo does get taken down by Kapokar. Finds himself a kill. He's gonna have at least 100 DPM this game done. Well, we'll see how much it would be at the end, because for now <laughs> it doesn't stop coming. Yeah, Delhi tries to get some more, and the pipes are landing. Look at that. <laughs> Nakari and Deuce going down there, one each for the scout and the devil man. That is point still under control. A lot of cap time, but that doesn't matter if they can't get back on it, at least not for a little while here. No heals up just yet. Everyone's around near point, but it's hard to commit when you just lack so much health right now who captained this park dumb who did it who's the captain who's trolling right now well it's clearly charlie right <laughs> probably actually nakari just jumped in tries to do something does nothing Ooh, Bobby goes does in and actually charlie comes in steals that frag onto olga so suddenly right now it does look like fungi are pretty favored capricar is gonna have to watch out alien smiley is chasing him tries to get a kill but it looks like he's just gonna find another scout the rest of his team is with him mathis Goes down in exchange for his friend Capocar's life. That was like a crucial drop that though to get them back into the game. Huge bump by Charlie. I guess it might be his fault, but also in the good moments, it's also his fault. So, you know, it all comes down to the leader here. And for now, they're doing a decent job getting back into the game here. Delhi down as well. Suddenly they have all the space on point. Have to worry about a player behind, but that's only one single scout. Can't do much. Raph and Alien onto point. Still get away from kill onto Charlie, but is that enough to really fight? They try to, but they don't have any evil. 
The Uber does come out. Glastry's on Sniper. Just gets chased down by Mappus. Gets taken down oh, as well. But look at Nakari. Finds that kill onto Oka. Poms in with no regard for his own life. Looks like it doesn't matter though. Getting the kill onto Ogre is so, so big. Bobby needs to get himself out of here though. He's getting chased by pretty much everyone. There we go. Jumps out, but with Olga dead, only looks like it's a 20% ad. It's not that big. You can't normally the sort of the sort of the rule that you use in order to 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 wage whether or not you should go in with your with your Uber is roughly like a 30 to 40% advantage. Both soldiers on the red team actually taking so much damage in the air right now. Not really finding anything. Delhi goes down, but look at Mathis. He's just taunting. Goes down as well because of it. Capo card dead too. Dakari going down blue as well. Suddenly that advantage is completely down the drain. Frenchie's wipe. Funge. 10 seconds left on the point. They're going to have to go in, and they're going to have to go in like right now. Yeah, and at this point, Olga and team can afford to give up the point for a little bit more time on the Uber here, but it, I don't think it will matter. Yeah, round ends before they even get, and even then, I don't think people would have made it before the Uber comes up, so will all work out just fine for the French side here and they played this really well uh, towards the end i mean the last round clearly it was the best one for fun they were playing a lot more unhinged and the aggression was a lot better constructed than before and it actually went places which is you know uh promising to see that they just didn't completely give up after they touched the saw blades i guess yeah warm-up map warm-up map they're gonna come back way stronger on the next map I don't know, that bagel? might actually be a better map for them. Bagel, bagel is a Maybe. lot smaller. It's a lot easier to just get fights started and keep them going as well because it's less space, obviously, to like run away from fights as well. And clearly, uh, in, in games like this, for a less coordinated team, not having to deal with like the strength of the blue team here, which is coordination, being able to play the defensive parts clearly better at the moment, um, makes a huge difference. I mean, but that's kind of the thing with Bagel, though. Is that it's just like a constant mid fight that just happens, and it's like a six to seven minute mid fight every single round, and it's uh, I think that's where the coordination really matters a lot. I think we are seeing that out of the Frenchies, they do look like they are the superior team, but maybe here's the thing, dumb. I think that the rails, Nakari railgun of in the lock and load might actually just be insane on Bagel. Uh, maybe I'm trying to reimagine in my head how the mid looks like, and I don't see too many great angles unless they're holding like really passive and let them towards point or really aggressive to not even let them get close it'll be interesting to see how that will play out once they you know have point possession uh which could be interesting i do want to say it's going to be better for the soldiers on funch as well because clearly it was a struggle for them to coordinate between the soldiers and the rest of the team with less distance to cover that's clearly going to be a lot easier in that department as well so we'll see if um bobby and charlie can have more impact, not just by themselves, but also like in relation to everyone else. Yeah, I mean, I think I do think though that they just the Funge esports will have to sort of prove their synergy a little bit more. We're seeing maybe even like a team mutiny happening in chat right now. I just I, I don't know what's going on. Apparently, Charlie's been cut. Lupus Isn't is coming team? in to replace him. <laughs> the pug suddenly lit again. Oh no! They dropped their pocket. You hate to see it. I mean, Lupus is kind of a beast, though. I can't wait for him to come in. Lupus uh kind of a goat pugger. I think he's going to be really good. Well, only one way to find out. That is once everybody is joining the map for Bagel, map number two of this best of three. And we get started with that. I want to check one thing, which is, I'm fairly sure at least a core of Funch Esports is trying to make a team for next season. Um, so, you know, being able to keep at it went down it's clearly important yeah charlie deuce nakari all joined a roster today at one so you know they're, they're trying to make something happen i think it's important to add like, the caveat that charlie's been trying to make something happen for every season now for the past <laughs> like four seasons with you know sort of varying levels of success last season didn't go so well but hey before, before that, that not really didn't he win high actually uh, I don't know if that was last season or the one before that. It was yeah, the like one before that. Relatively had, like, recent, yeah. Nubby on his team. Well, and now Nubby crazy. is second in Prem, so, I mean... Yeah. Someone made the right decisions here. <laughs> 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 no, but with no disrespect. Obviously, I mean, that just shows that these people are good enough to, like, put up a fight with these lot of level players. It just has to be all put together, right? Which is not yeah. going to come easily, and maybe not quickly enough in one single best of three as well, because, I mean, these Frenchies, minus two, played together for ages. And this is a team that 
got constructed for this cup right now. And had struggled actually getting themselves to play tonight as well, uh, in time at least. So it would be surprising if they can win it. However, I do want to say, especially with Bagel being a much different map than ClickUt, that this might still be a good chance to put up a good fight here. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it really just comes down to who's... I think this map in particular, who has the better sort of damage coordination. Better soldier bombs, the better sort of scout clicking. I do think that looking at the French roster, it just looks a little bit more solid, right? I mean, I feel like comparing Nevo to Capo Car is a, almost like a meme. Um, no flame, but but maybe flame. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. It will certainly be interesting to see how the differences play out here. Like you said, uh, coordination matters a lot. This is what the French is trying. Uh, on PDM. French clearly can still keep up to a good degree. Uh, it's just a matter of like improving the team play department as quickly as they can to put the point. Clearly, they still had some juice left in them by the end of ClickHut. Uh, even if it was not a good one to start off with, they made it really close towards the end. So there, there is still some energy left here in them. Let's see how long this will last. Yeah, I mean, this map can either go two ways. It can either be a quick 3-0 or it can be a really close one. But I mean, I think honestly, I think based on what we saw on the last map, I think the Frenchies should be favored once again, as uh, they are going for a, like probably some smoke breaks. Um, again, no no stereotypes or anything. I'm just assuming that that's what they're doing. Um, not all of the Frenchies are on the server quite yet. Actually, never mind. I think all the Frenchies are on the server, but actually, Funge is the slowest team in the universe to join, as yeah, he the last just players here. What I'm interested in, and it, I, in not a single game that I watch of the cup right now, um, how the off classes would affect things. Obviously, you traditionally don't see like Pyro too much. Heavy sometimes these days, actually, on King of the Hill. Um, often, as like the last resort, like a few seconds left, we have the point kind of thing. But even outside of that, sometimes it just gets rolled up to fights. Uh, but obviously, much more so than that. Clearly, Sniper is a very common sight on King of the Hill maps uh, normally. However, we've not seen anything last map. I've not seen anything yesterday either, to be fair. And Peter kept insisting Bagel is a good sniper map. And is it? if I know anything, then that is that Peter actually knows weird maps. So I want to put some trust on his name there. I'm uh, trying to we'll see. I'm trying to, to to imagine all the sniper angles in my head. I can't find any. I actually have I've watched So here's the thing, right, Dumb. I've actually casted like an Australian sort of an Australian sort of semi-finals between, like, their Prem teams, like, the guys who ended up being in the finals. And Australia is kind of known for one of those regions that just always has at least one guy who looks like he's cheating when he's sniping. <laughs> has the incredible smooth aim. He's using PV HUD, and he makes the frag videos. Um, I don't know. I'm actually... I'm looking at this map, dumb, and you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that the Gazi Pyro on this map might be really scary. Just sort of based on the map loadout, the way it works, it seems like there's a lot of tight corridors. I think a pyro. Well, it, it clearly crazy. didn't work yesterday because they lost in quarters. So I mean, that's bad. I don't remember who they lost. They lost to Wolfpack, who only ever semis. So you know, Ol it clearly Olga didn't pyro? work last time. Olga Pyro would be something. However, who's going to play medic? Someone has don't to control alien. We are live, dumb. As we sort of stop fantasizing about a pyro, actually, Bastrian Bobby doing the early trading. Bobby actually somehow craters there during that fight. That is really bad, because now both the soldiers, Charlie's gone down as well. Frenchies, they're just taking control of this midpoint with the Kari going down. There's no damage left to be had on the side of Fungi Esports. Now, Glash is looking for a little bit of a flank. Tries to find something, finds Kapokar. Quite find the rockets, however. Delhi finds a nice little trap onto Bobby. Doesn't stop Funch just yet. They want to bust through this forward hold as much as they can. Even if the Frenchies try so hard to keep it alive with Alien down, it's not completely gone yet. They're rotating to remain, see what they can get. Frenchies can pop in time, but it does not matter too much if Luz can use really late. Math is still caught out, but they will have to better Uber here for now. Yeah, the Uber's popped out of both teams, but it looks like it's also faded away from both teams. And Delhi look at Glastry, he has this high ground. There's a Charlie bombing in. Can't quite get the medic. Bobby tries to go and follows up, gets that kill. Delhi going down as well, along with Nevo. Suddenly means that. Looks like Funch, they're going to retake the point right now, and there's not really any contest coming out for Frenchies quite yet. Raffle actually in. 
I don't think he'll get anything. Nakari shuts him down. Glastri eats a nice little lock and load pipe as well. Gets shut down by this scout. Mathis finds that kill. Frenchies are all the way back in once again. They're on the point. Looking to get really aggressive. Actually, Nakari not quite finds the pipe. He's all alone. He gets taken down by Delhi. Now they're walking across the point once again. They're trying to get this fight. Alien Smiley goes down, but Delhi doesn't. Mathis and Bobby both cleaned up. And now Nevo is just on this point. I think they should be claiming it for now. Uh, the Frenchies are certainly in a better position here right now. It's uh, still some fight left in Frenchies. Charlie just aggressively over point with no regard for anything. Will not work too well here. Still team. Slowly gets a spawn star, but with one down now. With two down previously, it's still not a lot much better. Still they're trying. Evil gets popped straight onto Delhi and Olga just doesn't have quite yet. They're beating them by 10%. Yeah, Olga just doesn't quite find a person to heal there throughout that sort of immediate exchange. But it doesn't quite matter. Kapokar went down that immediately and Nevo wins a 1v1 with Mathis after Mathis hits absolute zero. Does no damage to Nevo. He even gets the pack. Doesn't matter, but thankfully for Funge Esports, Charlie has managed to find that force there on the point. Bobby goes down as well. But the Frenchies are firmly in control at this point. Yeah, nice little reaction to just have one soldier left, one soldier right from both sides onto the medic. Olga has to use one of them here. Works out quite nice to get themselves in a little bit of a better position now, being off the point. 30% add is not too much, but might just be enough. 10% was enough last time, but still, the soldiers forward. Glassy still hiding in the corner. Could be a huge one in the side with the high bomb straight onto the combo. Scout's not really close enough to help, but Glassy doesn't want to overcommit. He does not want to die right now. Yeah, losing a soldier here looks like it could be disastrous. There's a lot of damage you're suddenly missing. It's actually both Charlie and Bobby go in. About to kill onto Wrath, but looks like that's about it. Both of them go down, and now they haven't even managed to capture the point. Without any soldiers here, it doesn't look like they're willing to get too aggressive. Nevo finding that kill onto, onto Mathis as well. The Uber comes out of blue. Olga doesn't quite have yet. He's 96%. Both Nevo and the other scout, Alien Smiley, trying to body block. Kapokar pulls out his sword. That's not a game we're playing. We're not playing that. Uh, I'm trying to remember the game of that, mid like Chivalry. the medieval like game, but I just I don't. Chivalry remember. is one of them, at least. Yeah, that's a salt engine one anyway. And yeah, Olga will use here. They want to chase people before they get the Uber, and clearly it's working. Funch out of position, and that will clean up just about everyone that's close. At least three people still alive, but they're outnumbered severely. And have a little bit of overtime to work with, not much. They're trying to get in here as much as they can, get to point, get some kills, but clearly it's not working too well here. Spawns are coming in, but it seems to be too little, too late. And for now, this will be a round to the Frenchies who just have the teamwork cut out for them right now. Yeah, I think this is pretty much what we've been seeing so far is the Frenchies' superior coordination, superior teamwork. It's just netting them these rounds. They're winning the fights like this. It looks like Delhi, even in chat, he's getting a little bit tired. Not getting enough sleep as he's uh, winning the round so far. Right now, we are on to the second mid fight of the game. Last one, last about four minutes this time, maybe. Last a little bit longer, hopefully, for Funge. They'll be able to do something. Nakari shooting spam across the point. Actually, Bobby jumps in, takes a lot of damage there, does get taken down by Nevo. And now with Nakari going down to a pipe by Delhi Raft, finding Nakari. Kapokar going down. Charlie's dead as well. No kill onto Olga. Mathis does get out with blues, but it's pretty difficult to do anything meaningful right now. We'll see. They, we haven't had too many exchanges yet. We had one, like, mild terminal exchange where they just had to use much later, so that worked out really well for them. Let's see how it goes this time. The French is still with the forward hold right side. Seems to be the preferred way of being. You can see a Charlie just jumping through straight to Olga. They still will use roughly at the same time, but he gets Elliot's body forward. Olga just unaware of that couldn't flash the scout in time. Still with oh my Kapokan, Nakari getting chased on and everyone completely stuck on right <laughs> side, Glassby. Picking up Charlie there as well, as well as Bobby dying in the end too. This is just not going well for them on the attempt to break the forward hold. Raph was absolutely massive there, standing in that Uber, just like that body blocking. Like three or four people, Blue had to flash so many players because Raph was just doing all the damage in the world along with Delhi and just that body block towards the end on that Uber to Raph just meant that they couldn't even get out. Raph finds another kill and now Mathis just gets sniped by Delhi. Rides that pipe out as well. There's actually a soldier on him. He's still not dead. Finally taken down by Charlie. Does go down for the Devilman, but honestly, I think that's a trade you're willing to take any day of the week on this map. Yeah, let's see how much value you can get out of the demo pick they have here right now as it's just Glassy going in over himself <laughs> and no one could stop him. The melee weapon for Nakari not coming out of time. Ra flanking Bobby as well as he's just waiting for the team to make a move for him on the left side. Not gonna happen type of course and now it's suddenly so much more dire for him. Charlie tries to go deep, doesn't hit Olga at all. Map is over point as well. Gets Ra, but that's not the medic and that's what they really need right now. 
will get cleaned up eventually, but they can afford to wait for Ralph right now. They have the Uber to spare as well. Try to go forward as well. Dally just meets all of them on the left side, and they don't really dare fight this right now. Uber actually comes in out of Olga. There's so much damage coming out of Daly and Alien. Delhi and Alien Smiley. They get three kills. Charlie, Bobby, and Nakari all go down, but actually Delhi gets a little bit too big for his own boots. Does get taken out. Him spawn trying to spawn camp right now. I think Class 3 is doing a little hidey hide. Never mind, he's just jumping back out. Nobody really wanting to contest this quite yet, but Charlie eats a lot of damage here. Fine scout, he's not able to do anything about it. Raph is in, fight to kill him. Bobby goes down in the meantime, but I don't really know if that's a trade you want to take right now. Clash is in as well. The rest of his team not quite there. She jumps back out. But Blue has Uber. It's on the Frenchies to sort of force this out. Olga's really low. The Uber comes in. Charlie does a really nice little bomb. Finds that kill onto Olga. Goes down for it. But that's pretty, pretty good. But look at the Frenchies. They're so far back. Nothing else is going to happen. Now suddenly, Evo actually gets that kill onto Dakari. With Dakari going down. Bobby going down as well. Math is following suit. Blue is on his own. And he's already out in spawn. Suddenly, the Frenchies just take that right back. Yeah, there are still a lot of people down for that though, and they did not get the medic. They didn't just see in time where Blues was holding. The reaction was quick, but obviously the call for the medic was not there in time. Still, it does not matter too much. They will cap point, and they will have to defend it, but not many people up Delhi. Too late as well after the chase. It will go down, and that is a lot of people down already. A lot of people going down indeed, but it looks like it's the red team going down, not the blue players. Alien Smiley is taken out. That's a one solace, but just losing a scout for the, like three players is not very preferable. If you are fun G-Sports right now, Nakari gets dropped down as well. Blue, not really able to stay in that. He's the only player alive once again. Does get three spawners, but are you willing really to push without a demo run right now? There's 10 seconds left. Just kind of have to go anyway. Nakari is there with his team. Thankfully, this map is really small, so they will maybe be able to get in. That's actually a demo jumping forward. There's only two seconds left, but Charlie... Already taken down. What's Nakari going down as well? Uber comes out, but there's nobody really to flash quite yet. Damage hasn't come through. There's no kills for Fungi Esports as they do get Class 3. But I don't think this is it. They haven't got the cap quite there. There we go. They do get it, but look at Olga. He popped the Uber on his own as well. Frenchies, it looks like they just have the better positioning. They're trying to recommit right now, but Raph taken down by Mathis. It's gonna be a close call here. Mathis goes down eventually here to Neville and Olga on the sidelines. It gives them one pick to worth. If Neville already all the way trying to get to the backline, they see him coming in time, but in the meantime, they just cap a point right in front of them. And oh. that's just not gonna be the play for Funchi in the end. There we go. Another round for the Frenchie. It's a lot better of a fight here for Funch right now, but still just not good enough to get close to the end of the round here. And it's gonna be a tough one to make happen in the end. Yeah, the Frenchies really are sort of dominating this map in similar fashion to the first. Even now, it seems like there's just not really much for Funch to do. Blue actually eats a pipe. Sticky early on. He's eaten two already. He's down to 100 HP. Puts him in very dangerous ranges. He can be one-shot by pretty much every class except for the Medic. Bobby tries to go forward, but the health on Funch is so awful. No one really able to do anything. Nevo's cleaned up two kills. He's still just killing everyone on his own. No one on Funge able to really hit the shot they need to hit. Oh, they're just going all the way to spawn. Ooh. They're not respecting him anymore. They're completely loose now on the French side. Yeah, look at this. Charlie not even able to find a kill. Mathis does get Glastry. But Telly's just done so much damage. They're finally able to get out of their own spawn. But that is just... 30 seconds on the point for the Frenchies already. And even now, they're fighting themselves with an Uber ad. Uber is forced out by the soldier, but Nakari ends up going down, paying for his life with it. Paying with his life for it, I should say. Bobby goes down to a nice little rocket by Charlie, but Raph flanks in as well. Doesn't quite get blue. Oh, they're walking across the point once again. They might be able to get this cap. They should be able to get this cap. The whole Nobody combo is the behind them here, Delhi, really Alien, Olga. All coming in now. Blue's just completely stuck between all three of them and has huh? nowhere to go. What is a uh, Telly goes for that? He just pipes it anyway. He had the bottle out. Maybe decides he's just not even dead. Catwalk car finally does the five damage he needs to kill Delhi, but that is just not what you want to see. Delhi somehow lives that. Picks up three kills with his stickies. And this is just. 
it's not what you want to see, is it? Well, there's a reason we haven't covered the Frenchies yet, because we, we always n knew how good they can be. And, you know, in the end, it was pretty much a, a question of who can contest them. And so far, the answer is not punch. It seems there's still some fight left, and then the Kitty haven't completely given up yet, but it's going to be virtually impossible to come back from this at this point. Just mentally speaking, even. It's so hard when you're just like, you're not really doing anything. They finally managed to get control of the point for just a little bit, but all goes on and out again. They have to give it up immediately. And it's just the victories you're trying to hold on to to sort of keep your morale going are so, so small. You're not able to get anything. They do get the force out. Blue is at full uber but nakari so so low i have to get him up and ready before they actually go in the uber is going to come out right now they do walk cross point they finally pop it in onto mathis he does get one kill onto olga there that's bobby finding that kill alien smiley goes down as well but that's probably it for the trade actually mathis finally there we go a lot of cleanup coming in onto the frenchies nevo versus mathis once again but mathis is not hitting nevo nevo just gets out with his life completely intact right now and that is they do get the point they do get the medic but honestly the the ad isn't that big bobby going down as well to delhi means that suddenly funch i don't think they can hold this point that much all right yeah clearly the french is already back in point they want to fight this though on front they want to make a fight for mathis gets rough as well a lot of people deep in by the french though they're getting a lot of damage right nakari dies for daddy super alone is oh. just about gets back in time and the combo is just completely oh. stuck with flash being never in front of them they're hitting the shots the medic will go down yeah, there we go. Blue does everything he can to sort of stay alive there. Mathis finds it onto Delhi, taunts him up, trying to get the sort of small emotional victories that we all need to know. We all need every once in a while, but does end up giving a sword to Olga. Now, Olga channels the spirit of everyone's favorite English medic as he does get sore, but it doesn't matter. Mikari just has a railgun, chops Olga right now. Suddenly, Raph, he is able to find a kill onto Capital Car, but look at this meat grinder coming out the French. He's, Nakari's going to follow suit in the grave as well. Charlie's up, but there's 30 seconds on the point left already. Bobby's taken down. It's so hard to do anything. Mathis gets a kill onto Glastry, but he's going to have to kill everyone else. Doesn't find anything. Doesn't really find anything else. They do get the cap on this point, but there's just 18 seconds for the Frenchies. They just have to capture this a little bit. Glastry... It's on the snippy snap. All right, the fight keeps going, and with the cap maybe ringing out for a second, you'd think maybe they can do something about it, but no, the French is just immediately in their face. <laughs> Classy, finally, we see a sniper here, for better or for worse, but Charlie right behind him will probably end him just barely. If Soldier on the other side, Raph gets to clean up there as well. It's still messy, but three down on front right now does not make this look any much more doable than before. Olga wants to get a sword, doesn't get one. Diva comes out of blues, they juggle around the medic, the Kari executes the Frenchman and I mean they have the heals down that's a start but is it gonna be enough the spawns are so far away from being here yeah blue going down there as well it means that the Frenchies just get a clean cap Olga it's only engineer decides maybe his dispenser does more healing than he does this <laughs> rap almost gets that kill on Mathis. look at this Funge not able to get on the point in time that's 3-0 for the Frenchies as they will be moving on to the finals yeah, when I looked up the uh, the tables yesterday to see who's playing uh, and saw the Frenchies here, I don't think it for many other people as well. Of course, the question is if these guys make finals, but by how much? And so far, the answer is completely uncontested. They have not dropped a single round in any of their matches yet. Uh, <laughs> the fact that it didn't even happen in the semifinals is uh, a strong start, I would say, going into the next match, into finals. Whenever that happens, I believe the other game might still be going. The first round... And it already, I'm not going to spoil anything, but map one's over at least on that match. Um, so yeah, we'll see who will play them in grand finals. Uh, not necessarily a surprise to hear. It will come down to Wolfpack against uh, Badlands Chucks, I believe. Yes. Um, uh, much less known names, I want to say, on that roster overall, uh, compared to what we see here on Funch as well. So I don't know how much that will matter, because I believe both of those are project teams to varying degrees for next season. So maybe there's like already more work put into that. But, I mean, I don't know how much that will matter. Maybe these Frenchies are just going to tear everyone apart and just have a flawless record at the end of this. I mean, looking at the log right now, Neva went 20 for 5 with 484 DPM. Um, which is, uh, that's a lot of damage. Alien as well, going 26 for 7. And even almost just as good of a KD. Only, only doing 395 DPM. 59 DPM, sorry. 
Just uh, look at Neve. <laughs> Delhi as well. 18 for 8, 446 DPM. Just completely fun. Just not able to match up with it. All right. Unfortunately, we didn't see any villa. It would have been always fun to see to see at least, you know, the different game mode map, I suppose. Uh, maybe we'll see it in finals. Who knows? Uh, depends entirely on how these people map pick. That is the semi finals, though. We'll see how the other one ends up being. And next round starts at 21 something or whatever, I believe. Let me just make sure I got my dates correct here. Uh, grand finals. Oh, no, that's for next season. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> that is not, in fact, correct here. Yeah, we'll be playing the Grand Finals in two months. <laughs> sure, why not? No, uh, it is at 21 CEST precisely, which is in just over an hour. And yeah, we'll see you guys then with whoever will contest the franchise out of the other semifinals. It will be interesting to see. And that will be brought to you by Beta and TurboTab. So we'll see you guys later. Shoutouts to Capo Car.